So Samsung has officially confirmed it. The Exynos 2600 chip is coming to the Galaxy S26 series. Yeah, it's real. And it's happening despite all the confusion we've seen lately. This is actually a big deal because it means Samsung is bringing back its own chip after skipping it for the Galaxy S25, which only used Qualcomm's Snapdragon processor. Now, this move basically shows that Samsung wants to take full control of its flagship phones again. They're saying, we trust our own chip now. Remember, the Exynos line had a bit of a rough past. Heating issues, weaker performance, and people just preferring the Snapdragon versions. But this time, Samsung's confident they've fixed those problems, and that's why they're going all in with the Exynos 2600. And here's where things got a little confusing. Qualcomm's CEO, Christiana Amon, made a comment recently during an earnings call. He said something like, our assumption for any new Galaxy is always going to be 75%. Now, a lot of people online thought that meant Samsung would still use Snapdragon chips for 75% of the Galaxy S26 phones, like Snapdragon in most regions and Exynos only in a few. But that's not what he meant. What he was really talking about was Qualcomm's business projection, basically a guess they use when estimating profits. It wasn't some insider leak about Samsung's plans. Qualcomm just assumes they'll supply around 75% of Samsung's flagship phones because that's been the trend for a while. But Samsung's confirmation today pretty much clears that up. The Exynos 2600 is going to power the S26 series, at least in many regions. So yeah, Samsung isn't backing down. They're showing confidence that their chip game is back on track. And honestly, that's huge for them because it means less dependency on outside companies like Qualcomm. It also means more control over how their phones perform, look, and even how efficiently they handle power. Now let's talk about why this is important for you, the user. When Samsung uses different chips in different regions, like Snapdragon in the US and Exynos in Europe, people usually complain that one version performs better than the other. The Snapdragon models often had better battery life, better gaming performance, and even less overheating. But with Samsung improving their Exynos tech, we could finally see consistent performance across all regions, which would be amazing for everyone. And the Exynos 2600 itself, it's shaping up to be a serious upgrade. Reports suggest it's built on Samsung's new 2 nanometer GAA process, which means better power efficiency and cooler operation. It's also expected to have strong AI processing capabilities, so tasks like photo enhancement, on-device language translation, or even smarter battery optimization could all get a boost. Basically, it's not just about raw speed anymore, it's about smart performance. Now think about it, Samsung's phones already have some of the best displays and cameras in the world. If they can now combine that with an equally powerful in-house chip, they're in a much better position to compete with Apple and Qualcomm. It's like Samsung saying, we can do everything ourselves, from the screen, to the camera, to the brain of the phone. That's huge for their long-term strategy. It also shows how much Samsung's foundry business, that's their chip manufacturing side, has improved. Reuters reported that Samsung has finally overcome some of the production problems that held them back in the past. So they're not just designing better chips, they can actually produce them at scale now. That's a major win for them, especially if they want to rival TSMC, the company that makes chips for Apple and Qualcomm. And this could shake things up in the mobile industry big time. If Samsung nails the Exynos 2600, good performance, efficient heat management, great AI power, it's going to make Qualcomm sweat a little bit. For years, Qualcomm has dominated the Android market with Snapdragon chips, but now Samsung's coming back stronger than ever. And that competition can only mean one thing, better phones for us, the users. Still, we've got to be honest here, Samsung has a lot of proving to do. People haven't forgotten the past issues with Exynos, but if this chip performs like they say it will, the Galaxy S26 might just be the comeback story we've been waiting for. So yeah, to sum it up, Qualcomm assumed they'd keep most of Samsung's business, but Samsung basically said, nope, we've got this. The Exynos 2600 is ready and it's powering the next Galaxy S26 lineup. Now the big question is, will it finally be as good as or even better than Snapdragon? We'll have to wait for real-world tests, but one thing is clear. Samsung isn't playing safe anymore. They're betting on themselves, and that's something worth watching. 
and honestly, I love seeing this kind of competition. When Samsung, Qualcomm, and even Apple are all pushing to outdo each other, we end up getting faster, smarter, and more efficient phones. The Galaxy S26 series might be where Samsung proves that Exynos is finally ready to stand tall again. So, what do you think? Are you excited for Samsung to bring back Exynos in the Galaxy S26 series? Or do you still prefer Snapdragon chips? Let me know, because this decision could change Samsung's future in a big way.